This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 16 to 21. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son. And this is why, so that no one need be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God did not go to all the trouble of sending us his son merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help, to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one of a kind son of God when introduced to him. This is the crisis we're in. God light streamed into the world, but men and women everywhere ran for the darkness. They went for the darkness because they were not really interested in pleasing God. Everyone who makes a practice of doing evil, addicted to denial and illusion, hates God light and won't come near it, fearing a painful exposure. But anyone working and living in truth and reality welcomes God light, so the work can be seen for the God work it is. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 3 verses 16 to 21. We continue to read from the third chapter of the Gospel of John. Even if you fail to remember any other verse from the Gospel, today we got one to learn it by heart and it should form the heart of our faith in Jesus. John chapter 3 verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life the passage speaks of the great height breadth and width of god's love god's love is not limited to just a few nor to a particular group of people rather it embraces all of creation including you and me do parents keep an account of all the sacrifices they make for their children true love does not count the cost it leads one to make sacrifices willingly and joyfully a true lover gives one's beloved everything one has and the best one has to offer god proved his love for us by giving us the best he had his only son jesus and jesus donates his life sacrifices his life to make us live healthily god's giving of his only son to the world has the sense of entrusting his most precious gift to the orphan violent and murderous world god's gentleness is not dependent on how the world responds this trust of god in humanity also illustrates his readiness to face the vulnerability of loving God is a loving father who cannot rest until his wandering children have returned home. Saint Augustine says that God loves each of us as if there were only one of us to love. However, he allows us to choose whom and what we will love. We can choose to love the darkness of sin and unbelief or the light of God's truth, beauty and goodness. While writing the gospel over 5 decades after the death and resurrection of Jesus, John was aware that not many people could recognize the love of God the Father, and they preferred to stay in the darkness of their sins. Like Nicodemus, who came from the darkness, could not accept the light of Christ in the beginning. Therefore, he slowly disappeared into the darkness. And that is the reality today as well do we love god above everything else does god take first place in our life thoughts and actions